Hi guys, it's Elba here and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing another unboxing and the box set I'm going to be unboxing are these Armager Helverins, there is a glare so I'll just uh, leave the box set there but the reason I'm going to be doing another unboxing is because I was just scrolling through my channel just looking at what videos have I dropped in views and what videos have gained views and I was looking and I saw that I've just got my laptop here and the Imperial Knight Canis Rex video, the finished version, because I did four separate ones, one on the unboxing and two on like the process of me painting it. And on the finished video, so the last video, it's on 601 views. So a lot of my videos, well, the majority max out on about 100, 200 views and then they stop for a little bit. But this one has seemed to gone up a lot more and it's actually my third most viewed video. So I've decided to do another unboxing on some more knights. These knights are of course smaller, but they're a lot more mobile and a lot quicker when you play games with them. So we're gonna be unboxing them today. You get two in the box set and they cost 45 pounds. So a decent price for two knights, even though they are smaller, but you do get a lot more stuff. You get six sprues compared to a lot of the normal knight box sets where you get like three or four sprues. So you get a lot more sprues in this box set. So we're gonna unbox it. But before that, I'm just gonna let you know about the channel and the Instagram. So on the channel, we're on about 178 subscribers. It has stopped a little bit, but like I said, the views are still going up. And then on the Instagram, I'm on 512 followers, I believe. So we're almost at the 520 follower mark. So if you haven't already, please go follow that. This is the name. Basically on there, I just do exclusive photos and videos of models that haven't quite made it to the channel yet. But anyway, guys, like I do normally with most of my unboxings, I'm going to show you the front and then the back. So let's get straight into that. So guys, here is the front of the box. As you can see, we're the two armature helverins and they have the armature auto cannon, so there's no close combat with these two knights. Then they have the melt gun, then the heavy stubber at the top of there. So I actually really like that about these knights. You've got two heavy weapons on the top. So very, very cool. Obviously it's painted in the house Terran, which I'll actually be painting mine in. So blue, blue and gold basically to match my colour scheme for all of my space meat and stuff. This is just going to be adding to my knight army. I have the knight preceptor, which I already done a video on, like I said at the start of the video, and now I'll have these two guys. But yes, I've already basically pointed out the guns, but we have the melter gun, the heavy stubber, and the armager auto cannon. So very, very cool. As you can see, the carapace, you just zooming in on there on the gun. It's got like a hood over the top of the head. I've never really liked the look of that. I've always liked it where the, I don't know what you call that, like the face. It's been covered, like it's been shielded. But I actually do like it on these guys. Very, very cool. So we will now, oops, <laughs> we will now get into this. And I have already mentioned it, but this did cost me £45. I think it's a pretty good price for two nights. But yes, we'll get into the box now. Guys, that was the front and the back of the box. Now we'll crack into this box set. So let's get into that. Okay guys, so the plastic has now come off. Now we'll actually get into this box set. That was definitely the most fiddliest I've had to be with a box set. I don't know why. It's exactly the same sort of mechanism of this, but I don't know why it was really, really stiff. But anyway, we have four of the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six screws in total. So lots and lots of screws. Then we have the two big round bases, as you can see. So it's not like the surfboard sort of base that the actual knights have this is more of a round base and then we have the little sheet for the transfers then we actually have the actual transfer sheet with all of the knight transfers on there and then of course we cannot forget the instruction booklet we'll have a look at all of this in detail now 
So we will first start with the transfer sheet. As you can see, you've got all the different houses, five houses in total. We've got the Terran, Hawkshroud, Cadmus, Taranis, 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 and Raven. I can't pronounce all of these correctly because of course I don't really know all of the different houses for the Imperial Knights. But anyway, here are all the markers for the different units. So very cool. These are for the shoulder pads. So very, very cool transfer sheet. Just an ordinary transfer sheet, basically. Then we have the two pretty big rounded bases. And now we'll move on to the sprues. So here is the first sprue. We've got the shoulder plates or shoulder pads. And then we have all of the pieces for the armature auto cannon. So these will go together. So making two, we have the face there. So we've got two different variations of the heads. So we've got this one here. Then we have this one here. So two pretty cool looking heads. So we have six in total. So we better get through all of these sprues. Here is the next one. Exactly the same, literally a duplicate of the last sprue, but obviously just got the other two auto cannons on and then the other two shoulder plates. Moving on to a lot bigger sprue we have the carapace and then we have the hood that will go over the head of the knight then we have even more variations for the different type of heads so these ones look pretty cool if i just do a close up on there then we have the feet over here two of the feet and then here's a close up on the hood that will go over the head of the night so very very cool this one's pretty much the same but just with the arms lots and lots of different bits there we've got the feet again then we have another part which will be for where the arm will attach onto very cool just the same uh, sort of heads there then we have the second carapace. And then we have the other hood sort of thing that goes over. Then we have some more bits for the weapons. And then we got this um, like power plant sort of thing that will go um, like at the back of the knight. So pretty cool there. Then the last one, we have all of the arms and everything like that. Um, just the joints where the arms will go so very very cool this is like part of the power plant sort of thing i think it's a power plant something like that it's like an energy source or something but anyway on to the instructions so a very nice instruction booklet just pointing out all the different transfers that will be on the knights from like a bird's eye view sort of thing here is the other side this is actually in italian so we won't look at that but here is the instructions, just very, very simple instructions. As you can see, just putting together like the main body sort of thing on the knights. Then we've got all the feet and everything. So very, very simple. All the instructions are simple. There we go. Looks like it won't take me too long to assemble. But yeah, just a nice, simple booklet as usual. But yeah, that is everything. So guys, that is the end of the video. That was the unboxing of the Armager Helverins. If you did enjoy the unboxing, remember to give the video a like and subscribe and put the notifications on so you're notified with all of my videos. But yes, guys, these will be painted up hopefully soon. I still have the Mark 3s and Mark 4s to show and then I have the Pox Walkers to show doing a little pin guide on them. So stay tuned for that. That should be a really good video. But yes, anyway, stay tuned for all the videos that are going to be coming on the channel. And yeah, I'll see you in those videos. Bye.